hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about services in Android we can define a service as an Android component that perform a long operation in the background without a GUI for example downloading a long file from a remote server performing a long database operations are example for services in Android, the services are categorized into two. First one is status service and second one is bound service. So we learn about status service and bound service in two separate videos. So in the first video, we are going to learn about what you mean by a status service. So we can define a service as a status service if a component such as an activity or a fragment start the service by calling the method start service. And once the starter service is started, it will run in the background indefinitely, even if the component that start it is destroyed. So here I am going to create a simple Android application that will demonstrate what you mean by a starter service. So before going to create the application, you need to know something about the lifecycle methods of an Android service. So here these are the important lifecycle methods of an Android service. First one is the on start command method, on bind method, on create and on destroy method. The Android system will call the on start command method if the service is a status service and the Android system will call the on bind method if the service is a bind service. And before going to and before call the on start command or on bind method the Android system will call the onCreate method. You can place the initial setup for the service on the onCreate method. And the onDestroy method, the Android system will call the onDestroy method before destroy the service. Okay. So if the service is a status service, that means a component such as an activity or a fragment start the service by using the start service method, the Android system will call the start, on start command method. This is for the status service and this method is for bind service. And if the service is a status service, you have to return null from the on bind method. And you must override the on bind method in all the services. You have to override this method every time. Okay. So now I am going to create a simple Android application that, that will demonstrate what you mean by a status service. Okay. So here in this application here I am going to add two buttons for starting and stopping the service. So first add a button. This is for start the service. Add another button for stopping the service. Go to the XML version. Change the button text into start service and this one into stop service now add an on click method for the first button and do it on click specify a method name start service and for the second button specify another method and do it on click the method name is stop service okay now we have to define these two methods in main activity.java file i copy this method name go to the main activity.java there is no need of an options menu remove these unwanted code segments create the first method public void start service add the view argument name it as view now create the second method public void it is stop service Also add the view argument for this method. Okay. So whenever the user click the start button, we have it to start the service and when he click the stop service method, 
button we have it to stop the service so first we have it to create the service so here I'm going to create a service for that I have to create a new Java class so expand the package name right click the package and create a new Java class I name the service as my service and click OK now here we got a new class called my service so for creating a service you have to extend service or any of the subclasses of service class so here I'm going to extend the service class so this class extends service class okay now you have to override lifecycle methods for the service these are the lifecycle methods on start command on bind on create and on the slowing so the only one necessary method is the on bind method you must override this method so first here I am going to override the on bind method this is the only one method that is necessary okay so here I am going to create a status service actually this method is for a bind service in this case there is no need for this method so we have to return null from this method because this is not a bind service this is a status service okay so for for uh, for the initial setup for the service you have to override the on create method so here i override the on create method now for the status service we have to override the on start command method this method is for the status service here we are going to create a status service uh, and for destroying the service that means stopping the service we have to override the on destroy method so the last method is on destroy methods okay now we have all the necessary methods on create method you can perform the initial initial performance that means initial setup for the service on this method and here is the on start command method the android system will call the on start command if you start the service by using the start service method and here is the on destroy method the system will call this method before destroy the service and here is the on bind method here this method is not needed because this is a status service but you must implement this method you must override this method That's, that is must okay so now I am going to put some statement on this on start command if the service service is started the system will call this method and here I'm going to display some message using a toast uh, we have it to specify the message using make a test method uh, this service started okay uh, now we have to specify some length for the toast toast don't make into long and finally make it into visible using show method okay and this method must return an integer value you have to return an integer value from the on start command method okay now you have to return some integer value from this method so here I'm going to return an integer value it's a constant value and it is start sticky okay don't be confused with this value so these are the some constant values available with the service class and these integers determine what will do if the service is restarted by the system okay so we learn about this in another episode so here simply return start sticky so we create the on start command we put some statement on the on start command method so now we have to put something on the on destroy method this method will invoke if the service is stopped by the android system so this is a status service so it will not stop until the user stop it by placing a stop self method within the service or 
uh, or you have to call the stop service method from any other component such as an activity or a fragment. So in this method I put another toast, copy this toast, service stop, uh, service destroyed. Okay. So the Android system will call the on destroy method before closing, before stopping the service. Okay. So now we have a status service available in this application. Now we have to start the service. So go to the main activity. So if the user click the start service button, this method will invoke. So you can start a method, you can start a service using an intent object. So first here I am going to create an intent object. I name it as intent equal to new intent. First specify a context object. Second you have to specify the name of the service class. So here the service class name is my service. You have to specify the class name. Uh, my service dot class okay so now we have to start the service so you can start the service using the start service method so I use that method start service and pass the intent object pass the intent object this will start the service okay so now we have to stop the service. For stopping the service, we need the same intent object. Now we have to stop the service. So you have to call the stop service method and pass the same intent object. This will stop the service. Okay. And one more thing, one another important thing you must do on the manifest file. Open up the Android manifest.xml file. You have to add a service element within the application element. So here I am going to add a service element and close the service element. And you have to specify the class name for the service. Okay, there is a lot of attributes are available with the service element, but this is the only needed attribute. The name attribute that is the only only one attribute that must implement so here you have to specify the name of the service class here the service class name is my service okay so now we have a service available in this application and if you want to make this service only available for this application you have to add another attribute called android import this one android exported and make this one into false this will make sure that the service is only available for your application now if if you place the exported if you place a false value for the exported attribute this will prevent any other application from using the service okay so now we complete now finishing all the coding now we can test the application so now i am going to run this application now okay before going to start the service here we made a mistake this is not start service we have to call the stop service method stop service method and pass the same indent object okay now we can run the application so now I'm going to run this application Okay, now here we have the application available on the virtual device. Now here I am going to start the service. So click the start service button. So now the service is started in the background. So this is a starter service and it will run in the background indefinitely. So I just destroy the activity that create the service. I remove all the running activities. And you can find out the running service from the settings apps available on the device. So go to the settings app.
uh, go to the apps open apps here is the running applications open the running applications and here is the service this is the application name service demo and one service is running this means now the service is running in the background indefinitely so now we have to stop the service this is a status service once it is started it will run in the background indefinitely so we have to stop it so we have to run the same activity again so I open the same application service demo now I have to stop the service so I click stop service button this will stop the service this is a simple started service in Android I hope you understand these concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode